Indeed, welcome, welcome everyone. Today we're gonna to be going into a top requested video that has been from you guys. So thank you for requesting. I love doing workouts and exercises that you're needing most. And so this one is for the bra bulge and into the back fat. And I am doing a little bit of some intensity in the middle of each one of these with plank holds, where we're gonna to start to really dive into that core as well. So it is gonna be a three part, three muscle, where you're gonna definitely feel it. So of course I'm gonna throw in some modifications, and of course I'm gonna throw in some advance. So depending on what your level is, you can still do this exercise with me. So let's dive into it. Um, always listen to your body. Your modification is going to be number one. Um, you wanna make sure that you get the form perfect, you're feeling the correct muscles and then once you're feeling the correct muscles that's when we're able to advance and go into a little heavier weight to challenge ourselves even more and burn fat faster so that is our stage that's how we do it so what you're gonna need for today's workout I'm gonna be using a ball for today's workout um, this is gonna be a little bit more advanced because it has a lack of stability and I'm having to use my stability muscles to keep it in place um, if you're looking for something a little bit more it uh, modifi modified I would use let's say a bench a chair a bed a couch anything like that you can absolutely work um, and find a ways to do this I've even some seen some people actually take their cushion off their couch and place it on the floor and use that as a uh, use that as their bench, which totally works. So make it work for you and let's dive into it. Also, you will need some weights. So if you wanna start off, um, you can start off with just light, light, light weight by just actually holding on to the plates themselves or even not holding on just the bars themselves would be probably the lightest weight and working your way up depending on whatever level you're at. And uh, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can go into a little heavier, making sure that of course you got your form correct and we're doing our warm up with a good light weight. All right, so you wanna make sure that your back is fully supported. So just right underneath your bra strap area, making sure that everything is nice and, and found a uh, good foundation. You also wanna make sure that your feet are nice and wide so that if you are on a ball, it keeps you from rolling around and uh, toppling over. All right, from here, our first exercise is called the chest fly. I personally like this exercise because it, it goes into the biceps, the armpit fat, and into the chest area. If we do it correctly, so I'm gonna show you how we do it correctly. Here we go. So a common mistake I see is people when they go right into chest press or um, chest flies, they just bring their arms up over, which immediately you can see that my, my hands are over my shoulders, and that's a common mistake. So what I want you to do is just drop into your chest. So you're essentially just going to lower your hands down, bringing your weight right up over the nipples, and um, that's what keeps you in alignment working the chest. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly bend those elbows. Um, it also gives us a nice, good range to be able to hit that chest better and then what I do is I open those elbows so I'm holding like a beach ball in my arms now where I have a nice good size beach ball and that is the form for the chest flies so give yourself a good amount of space we're gonna go ahead and open those arms up nice and wide and then we're gonna go ahead and squeeze them in thinking of your chest squeezing in so bring them out bring them in we have a total of 15 reps Great work. Then right after that, we're gonna go right into our plank. Your plank, you can either hold on to the ball for the most advanced, that's gonna be super challenging. If you're more intermediate, we're gonna take it to the ground where you're on your hands and knees. So just holding here into a plank where you make sure that you have a straight line from your head down to your knees. Or if you um, want a little bit more advanced, you can take it up to your feet. So choosing your own level, um, knees, ball, or just a regular plank onto your feet. We have a total of 10 seconds, here we go. Good, focusing on just keeping that belly button nice and tight up towards your spine. And then we're gonna go ahead into our next exercise. These are the overhead pullovers. 
So go back into, onto your surface, weights up overhead, slight bend in your elbows, get a nice good stretch through the chest as you come up, squeeze your chest and bring it all the way up over your belly button and then back down. Good, you have a total of 15, let's begin. Beautiful work. Right back into our planks, no time wasted. We have a 20 second hold. Choose your level, here we go. Anytime you can drop down to your elbows if your wrists are not gonna be able to handle it. Make sure you don't sag that belly button towards the floor. Make sure you keep it nice and pulled up towards the ceiling. Beautiful work. All right, let's go into our next one. Um, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit here. Show you my next favorite one for the chest. Okay, this one is great. You're gonna go ahead and just have the dumbbells right next to your armpits. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna press up, squeezing the chest. As you come in, you're gonna twist up at the top, rotate it so the opposite ends meet and then bring it, back, bring it back and twist it and come all the way to your starting position. So let's go ahead and do that again. So you're gonna squeeze the chest, press it up. As you're gonna rotate, squeeze the chest, you're gonna feel a nice good um, flex into the chest here as you twist and then bring it back down. Awesome. This is gonna lift those beautiful boobs and really give you that nice, good perky look here and help you with that bra bulge as well. So let's go for 15, let's go. Great work, and I think you know what's coming next. We have a 30 second plank hold. Choose your level, let's go. Great work, super proud of you on that. So good job, we, go, we went ahead and warmed up our chest. We're gonna go ahead and now warm up our back. So again, this is our bra bulge and our back fat. So let's go ahead and go into that area. Again, I'm gonna go over form, so we make sure to do it right. It is so important we do it right, because if we do it right, we're gonna connect to the right muscles, therefore we're gonna be able to sculpt even faster and get better results. Okay, the first one is going to be a reverse fly. So essentially it's the same thing that we did in our chest where you have that nice good beach ball, slightly bent elbows, and as you're here, it's essentially exactly what we're gonna be doing 
for the back as well. So nice good beach ball, elbows are slightly bent. All right, bend over. You can either be standing, kneeling, um, whatever works for you, kind of whatever angle you'd like to get at. Completely your choice here. I'll show you a couple different ways, but let's go for 15 reps. You're gonna go ahead and just focus on drawing the shoulders down, lifting the chest, lifting the neck so the spine is nice and straight, and you're just gonna squeeze the back and bring it in. If you wanna start off with a little lighter weight, again, like I mentioned earlier, you can just use the actual plates and start off with a nice good warm up here first. All right, let's begin. Some work so right after that we're gonna go right into a cardio burn so you can either go jump rope or jumping jack your choice so we have a total of a 10 seconds of cardio and if you want to change it up to something different you absolutely can but let's go 10 seconds beautiful work after that we're gonna go right into our, ben our bent over rows. Grab your weights. This one I see a common mistake, and I see it all the time, all right? So make sure that we get the right form here. Instead of just going right up here at the chest, you wanna drop everything back down to the hips. Focus on into that back. So roll those shoulders down and back. Squeeze the shoulders down. Shoulder blades come together, okay? Here we go. Bent over rows, 15 reps. jumping jacks or jump ropes. next one is our Superman pull downs. You can go ahead and grab a booty band for this one. All right, you're gonna go ahead and lie all the way down. You can grab your booty band on both ends of it. You're gonna lift up. You can lift your booty up in the air, squeeze the arms down, back up, and rest down. We have a total of 15, so here we go. Up, squeeze, up, and down. Think about pulling with your back. Squeeze that band through your chest, feeling your lats in your back. Beautiful work, 30 seconds, your cardio, let's go.
work. So, your first round, your warm up is complete. Now we've got a second round where you're gonna start to advance and grow your weight so you can get faster results, okay? So good work, I'm proud of you. Same thing, grab some water, let's begin. Second plank. Fifteen reps, pull over. plank. That ball makes it so much harder. All right, next one, we're gonna go into the chest press with a twist. seconds hold. You make it a little more challenging where you bring your elbows a little bit further up if you're on a ball and you really are going to feel your stability muscles kicking in. So instead of keeping them back here, it's a lot harder to bring it up here. Come on out. Good work. That means our chest one's done. Let's go ahead and now finish it up with our back. I'm gonna just show you a couple different ways that we can go ahead and do some of these. So we're gonna go into our reverse fly next. I'm gonna show you if you wanna be either kneeling or standing or sitting. I'm gonna show you a couple different angles here. Okay, here we go. Chest lifted, shoulders down and back, and spine is nice and straight. 15 reps. Totally drop down in some weight. Get a little higher range of motion. Okay, 
Good, squeezing the back. Oh, I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling the back. All right, let's go right into our cardio burst. Again, you can choose whatever cardio you want here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and add a little bit more advanced to it. Throwing on a booty band. Let's go. Beautiful, next one is gonna be our bent over row. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the barbell for this one. You can have your hands um, forward or facing backwards. I'm gonna take my palms and face them away from me. Bring it down and you have a nice flat back and just squeeze that bar up to your belly button. 15, let's go. into our cardio. Here we go. Whew. Great work. Last one, you guys ready for this? Our Superman pull downs. Okay, so grab that booty band, lift it up, pull it down, squeeze with the back, bring it back up and down. 15, let's go. Cardio. Don't waste any time. Let's do it. 30 seconds. Make sure you grab some water for this one. This was pretty intense. I do have to say, I'm so proud of you because as we challenge ourselves and as we grow knowledge in learning how to acti activate the muscles correctly, that is where we're gonna get faster results. So super proud of you. Go ahead and walk it off. If you want to do another one and start to continue to add weights, do so and post it in the group so you can get added to this challenge in the giveaway. I'll see you guys in the next workout. Thanks for joining. Lots of love. Click the link below to join us in the app where you're able to join full workouts like this and also a whole lot more. I'll see you in the app. Go ahead and click the link below. Keep watching if you wanna cut that fat 
and keep your curves. Let me show you how to end the weight loss loop and really get lasting transformations. Cut fat and keep your curves. You have been lied to your whole life about weight loss because weight loss is actually about dieting, excessive cardio, and calorie counting, which have all been proven to slow your metabolism down. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. So forget losing a certain amount of weight. Get that number out of your head. The pain of weight loss and focusing on numbers is why most people yo-yo and keep failing. If you're just wanting to feel and look good naked, then the answer really is in lean muscle, building it and maintaining your lean muscle. And here is why. Lean muscle can speed your metabolism. You'll feel more energized. You can even boost your mood. You'll burn fat while you're sleeping. You're gonna have an increase in energy, decrease in pain. Your clothes are gonna fit way better and your hormones are gonna be more balanced. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now. You feeling great and your new transformation can start today.